How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Alex Jones versus Marco Rubio. Now, this was a little bit more than a battle of words. It got a little bit physical at some point, and I do have video of this, but before we get to the video, I need to explain what's going on here. Now, today is Wednesday, September the 5th of 2018. You have the Brett Kavanaugh Senate hearing kerfuffle going on. The rights and protects the rights of people with disabilities, of women. We need to protect people of color. But there is more happening than just that. There was a Senate hearing about foreign intervention into our election process using social media. Google, Facebook, and Twitter were invited. Facebook sent Sheryl Sandberg. Twitter sent Jack. And Google did not have anybody. They tried to send some low-level guy, but the Senate didn't want that. They wanted an actual person that was in charge of being able to get things done. Alex Jones happened to be here because he was concerned about the shadow banning, censoring conservatives, is that in the third. Somehow he gets into Marco Rubio's uh, press gaggle and tries to kind of interrupt it. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and roll the video of that particular incident. After we get done with the video, I'll give you my thoughts about it. And then I wrap it on up with a nice bowl on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Should I have a First Amendment or should these companies be able to, to violate the whole Safe Arbor Act and all that and then ban conservatives in mass? Yeah, I don't know anything about your site, man. No, uh, but about the First Amendment. Yeah, I support the First Amendment. I just ask questions you, about do, it. I know. I, I, you were the only one that brought up China. Are Guys, you aware? I, yeah. Are you aware of the deplatforming going on? Um, in China? No, here. Big tech companies are, are purging conservatives. They're shadow banning people in mass. Yeah, well, my, my broader concern is that uh, what we are trying to do in terms of preventing foreign interference in our elections, uh, that technology could be used by authoritarian governments to argue, we want you to do the same thing against people that are in our country operating. For example, for them, misinformation would be something like the truth. We for them, missing, for them, uh, sowing instability would be supporting democracy and free speech. But the speech. Democrats are Will doing what you said China does. that you got from Sheryl Sandberg and Jack Dorsey on that question? I think Facebook now is, I think it's important for them not to comply with any efforts to sort of go after freedom well, of what expression. What about the Democrats purging conservatives? The, the, um, She's not answering. Just the, the Republicans are acting like it isn't happening. Thank God Trump is. Well, but it's uh, weird, man. Oh, yeah, it's really uh, weird. There's no purge of conservatives. I don't know. There's no you, shadow banning who, who is of, 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 of members of Congress. Are you concerned about bias in social media? Yeah, who's this huh? guy? We deplatformed him. Are you concern, concerned about bias in social media? Well, so I he, think the bigger bias is against freedom of expression. Everybody should be. There's a, there's a look, I, I support here. going it's after. It's happening here, but you say I don't exist. Is that a heckler at a press of gaggle? Look at this guy. <laughs> He's saying that I don't exist, and they're deplatforming. I just don't know who you are, man. And they, I don't read your sure, websites. Sure, and they demonize so me, me, me in these well, very here, hearings, here's the and then he plays dumb. Here's the question. Infowars.com, you, you know Do you think that does, oh, well. does Google, does Facebook, does That's Twitter, do they need to be regulated like, like, do they need to be regulated? Marco Rubio, the snake. Little frat boy here. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Who are you, man? Yeah, sure. I swear to God, I don't know who you are, You better hope you get deplatforming. Tens of millions of views. Infowars. Bigger than Rush Limbaugh. He knows who InfoWars well, is. But Play you, this joke over here. That's why and the deplatforming didn't work. But but, but here, here's here's the question. Here's a question. Wait, don't touch me again, man. I'm asking you not to touch me. Well, sure. I'll just pat you nicely. I know, but I don't want to be. I don't know. Oh, you, you want me to get arrested? I don't know who you are. It's not just going to get arrested, amendment. man. You're not, not going to get arrested. Take I'll take, take care amendment. of it myself. Oh oh, he'll beat me up. Did I didn't say that. You know who I am, but he's so mad. You're not going to silence me. You're not going to silence me. Well, but there are people. You are like you are literally like a little gangster thug. There are there are people in this country. Rubio just threatened to physically take care of me. There are people who feel that they're being. We already got rid of my First Amendment. He tells you China's the problem, which it is, but they're taking our free speech Google, right now social, social media platforms facebook there goes rubio Twitter. do you believe that these these platforms need to be regulated like a public utility and how do you go about doing that well i prefer not to I prefer competition take care of that but obviously we're going to watch closely to make sure that these tools that are being used i mean one thing is to say we're going to go after foreign interference designed to so and so but it's already going on here another thing is to the say democrats we're going to go after the republicans speech. Because at some point someone the has Democrats to make a determination what's wars. the difference between, you know, misinformation from abroad and differences of opinion within the United yeah, States. Yeah, and that's, that's happening here. a very here. fine line, and that's something we need to be careful about. We don't overreach in that direction. But then he doesn't know about so InfoWars being banned. He doesn't have know about the top news story in the country. About how they, uh, not just how they, how they apply that within the United States, Info but they don't become home, agents of authoritarian regimes abroad to crack down on free speech. Because I wonder why Rubio got so mad at me and threatened me physically. There's a balance between... 
huh? um, what is free speech and what people disagree on. Okay. Poor Rubio. Guys, I'm sorry, we gotta get Yeah, man, I gotta go to the committee. Exactly. You Thank guys you. can talk to this clown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's a little frat boy, so cool. Go back to your bathhouse. <laughs> Compromise at the bathhouses. There goes Rubio, a little punk. Anyways. All right, so you see what's going on there. You see what's happening now. I don't really understand the point of Alex Jones doing this. What was the reasoning behind interrupting Marco Rubio? I mean, I really don't get it. Your beef is not necessarily with Rubio. It's with these tech companies. You know, don't rely on the government to try and fix whatever these tech companies have going on. That should be something that's totally unrelated. The tech companies should have their private practices and the government should just stay out of it. That's the way it should be. Talk to Jackson. She's right there. Talk to Sheryl Sandberg. If Google were there, talk to them. Don't speak to Marco Rubio or anybody in government. That's not who your beef is with. Now, I will admit this little exchange was pretty entertaining, and I thought Rubio handled it pretty well. I believe him when he says he doesn't know who Alex Jones is. He seemed pretty genuine. Maybe he does and I'm wrong. I'm just going off of what I think about this particular situation. He may have heard of Alex Jones before he may have heard that name and he may have heard about Infowars but I don't think he knows a lot about the situation or him to make a comment on it and I like that he did that rather than making the comment and not being informed about the situation because we see what happened with some of these Republicans getting put into a situation where here comes some guy putting a camera in their face microphone in their face and telling them to do x y and z that's what the whole Sasha Baron Cohen situation these people did not know who he was, but yet were very comfortable in saying certain things that incriminated themselves, made themselves look really, really dumb. So I'm glad he didn't go down that road and say something that would make him look dumb in the end. I think he handled it pretty well. Alex Jones may have just kind of been a little overzealous and over anxious to try and plead his case to the government when in reality that shouldn't be who your case is played with. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm a big fan of Alex Jones. Been watching him for a long time. He was a very entertaining person and has some good information here and there. Is he right all the time? Absolutely not. But nobody is right all the time. Nobody is Jesus Christ walking this earth. So to expect this man to always be right and to have his facts always 100% correct is something that you really shouldn't expect from anybody. You know, not Alex Jones, not... The mainstream media, not, not even the president. That's just kind of how it is. Now, as far as the touching and stuff like that, I mean, come on. I think what happened here is Alex Jones got a little bit too comfy and he forgot that Marco Rubio is a very important person. I suppose that was Secret Service right there, or some kind of bodyguard, security force or whatever that brushed that man's hands off of Marco Rubio when he got a little bit too comfy. So I think when he kind of turned his head and saw that guy, he realized, all right, I can't just touch this man like that. You know, it's almost like going on to Trump and just touching him when you can't do whatever you want to do. I just believe that Alex Jones got a little bit frustrated with what's going on. And I kind of don't blame him because, look, you have the biggest or close to the biggest news platform on the Internet, radio, whatever. You are humongous. You are a household name. And then for all these tech companies to collude against you nearly all at once to remove your content. And then the onslaught has not stopped. They're still trying to come after them in different ways. I understand why you're upset. I understand why you're frustrated, but you got to keep it cool. You can't just be lashing out at people just because you want to do it. It makes you actually look worse. So then when these leftist news outlets like Vox write articles about you in this particular incident, all it does is just fuel their fire. They can say stuff like, oh, he's a far right figure. He's a conspiracy theorist. When they show a video like this, it just kind of solidifies their case, even though their case is based on lies. It's easy to prove a lie when you have certain pieces of video that are able to be taken out of context and used in a way that supports their claim because it's easily manipulated and turned in a way in which it was not intended. So as I close, I just want to say, Alex Jones, man, you got to tighten up, boss. I like you, but you got to just go about your methods in a better way. I understand that you're frustrated. I understand that you have a valid case here about the shadow banner, but Marco Rubio, that's not his cross to bear. You got to take that up with the people that actually did it, not the federal government. And to anybody who wants to get the federal government involved, I think you should think twice about that because that's a double-edged sword. You may think that the federal government would 
be in a position to be able to tell these tech companies what to do and how to treat people. But it, it goes both ways. They can be in a position to help you, but also to harm you. All right. Because what if the federal government tells these tech companies to do a thing that's going to hurt you that may help other people? You see, it is is not as simple as what you may think. You got to just think a little bit deeper here. Uh, people, well, the mainstream media, at least, they'll try to say Marco Rubio threatened Alex Jones. I'll take care of you myself. Nah, it, it wasn't even like that. He was just trying to defend himself, really, because Alex Jones is in his space. And it's like, all right, man, like, what do you want? I can't really, you know, I can't really just dedicate my time to you. I'm talking to the press right now. I don't even really know who you are. This ain't the way I go about it. I thought he was pretty cool, actually. And the, the whole threat thing was not really real. Alex and the mainstream media don't take that that kind of way. You can't get all up in the man's personal space and then expect him to just take whatever you give to him with nothing back. You know, it's okay to defend yourself. Alex and Marco have the right to do that. But that is pretty much all I got. So what say you? Do you think that Alex Jones did the right thing here by confronting his accusers? I'm not really sure if the federal government is his accuser, but do you think that he was right to interrupt Marco Rubio's little press conference here? If you think that way, then please explain to me why. What was he able to accomplish? He was able to get some camera time and get some more eyes on this particular issue. But did he help his cause? Did he hurt his cause? I'm not really sure. Do you think that Alex Jones did not do a good thing here? It got kind of upset, got kind of triggered. And like I said, I understand why he would be upset. I understand why he would be triggered. But I don't believe that excuses him from his behavior here. It was entertaining, yes. But just because it was entertaining does not mean I support it, nor do I really defend it. But whatever your comments are, Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.